Hey, I know you're here because you're tired of being clueless, of not knowing when a woman is interested in you. Maybe you've missed opportunities because you couldn't read the signs, or, or worse, maybe you've made a fool of yourself because you misread them. And I get it, women can be complex creatures. But today, we're putting an end to that confusion. Chapter 1. She's blushing. Let's kick things off with the first sign. Blushing. Now, this isn't some romantic, fluttery nonsense. It's biology. It's a raw, involuntary reaction that happens when adrenaline rushes to her body. Blushing is a biological sign. It says, I'm interested. Now, why does she blush? The simple answer is that her heart rate increases when you're around her because she's attracted to you, genius. Blood rushes to her face, causing those adorable rosy cheeks. It's an unconscious response that she can't control. But let me tell you, it is a signal as honest as you can get. But before you jump the gun, let me get something straight. You need to distinguish between a blush of attraction and her just being a natural blusher kind of person. Don't be the clown who misreads the situation, but if she's only blushing when you're around or when you're interacting with her, <laughs> hey friend, that's a pretty damn good sign she's into you. And remember, it's not just about her cheeks turning red. Look at the overall context. Is she blushing while making eye contact? Is she blushing while laughing at your jokes? Is she blushing while fidgeting or playing with her hair? If so, she is not just interested, she is practically sending you a written invitation to talk to her. Chapter 2. She's holding strong eye contact. Next up is eye contact. Don't underestimate the power of a glance. Eye contact is the unsung hero of human interaction. And when it comes to signaling attraction, it's a heavyweight champion. Now, I'm not gonna talk about a fleeting look or a casual once-over. No, I mean that intense, lingering eye contact that makes it feel like it could melt steel. It's like she's trying to have a conversation with you without saying a word. It's her way of reaching out, of, of, of establishing a connection. It's her way of saying, I see you. Do you see me? But here's the thing. This isn't just about her looking at you. It's, it's a two-way street. When you're holding her gaze, are you checking out and looking away? Because let me tell you, if you're not meeting her eyes, you're signaling that you're not interested or that you're not confident. You're not just missing a sign. You're sending one back, and it's not a good one. So if she's locking eyes with you, you have to hold that gaze. It's not a staring contest, but it's a silent conversation. It's an unspoken challenge. She's laying down the gauntlet, inviting you to step up. And if she can see you hold the gaze, if you can return that intensity, you're showing her that you're confident, that you're interested, and that you're man enough to take the lead. And let me tell you, that's a message she wants to see. Listen, by watching these videos, I know you aren't one of those losers who think they already know everything. Even if you've only watched one video on this channel, you still clicked on it, and that shows that you have a fire inside of you to start improving. You already showed the willpower. The only thing you need is a path. I've put down ten modules which you can see as ladders. Every module or ladder will exactly explain to you step by step how to get to the top. From achieving peak masculinity, advanced testosterone optimization, getting women, mastering the game of exchanging value, to actual money-making methods, and even more. I have literally laid the groundwork for you to become jacked, attractive, rich, and of high social status. You don't lack motivation. You just lack the knowledge and trust in the path that you're taking. You can continue messing around in the never-ending cycle of taking paths that lead to nothing, or click the link in the description down below. Chapter 3. Pay attention to her smile. Now let's talk about smiles. You think that... You know about all about them, right? Well, that's fucking wrong. No, not all smiles are created equal. It's about damn time you learn the difference. You see, there is the polite, I'm just being nice kind of smile. And then there is the, I am genuinely happy to see you smile. The first one's about as meaningful as a, have a nice day from a cashier. Second one though, that's the real deal. That's the one we're looking for. Look at her eyes. Are they crinkling at the corners? Look at her mouth. Is it a wide, genuine smile? She's showing teeth? I'm not talking about some predator bearing fangs. I just mean a natural, open, relaxed smile. If she's given you these smiles, especially if she's given them to you more than anyone else around, she is practically screaming for you to come over there and talk to her. 
So stop standing around like a deer in the headlights and make a goddamn move. Chapter 4. She has her head tilted down. Alright, moving on to the next sign, the head tilt. Now you might be thinking, what the hell? How is a head tilt a sign of interest? But bear with me here, it is a subtle but powerful sign of interest. When a woman is interested in a man, she'll often tilt her head down slightly and look up at him through her lashes. It's a vulnerable, submissive gesture that is hardwired into our brains through thousands of years of evolution. It's her nonverbal way of saying, I'm open, I'm interested. But let me get one thing straight. This isn't about her being weak or you being dominant. It's about her showing interest and trust. It's about her inviting you in. So if you see her tilting her head down, especially if she's combining it with some of the other signs we've discussed, don't overthink it anymore. Start talking. And remember, while you're busy looking for signs, you're also giving them. You are a part of this dance, whether you like it or not. So make sure your own body language is saying, I'm confident, I'm interested, I'm approachable. If you're sending the right signals, you're gonna make it a whole lot clearer and easier for her to send hers. Chapter 5. If she just stands there without any movement. Sometimes, my man, actions speak louder than words. And when a woman is interested in you, her body language can reveal everything you need to know. One obvious sign is that she just stands there, seemingly frozen in place without any unnecessary movement. Think about it. When someone's uninterested or indifferent, they tend to fidget or shift their weight from one foot to another. But when a woman is captivated by your presence, she'll hold herself still, almost as if she's caught in a trance. It's her way of giving you undivided attention and showing you that you can have her full focus. Pay close attention to her body language. Is she rooted to the spot, her gaze fixed upon you? Does she seem very engrossed in the moment, as if the rest of the world has disappeared? If so, then that's a clear sign that she wants you to approach her and strike up a conversation. Make the move. Chapter 6. She bumps into you. Let me tell you, when a woman's interested, she'll find reasons to be in your space. And sometimes that means accidentally bumping into you. Bumping into me? Isn't that just a clumsy mistake? And sure, sometimes that is all it is, but other times it's in a very intentional chess move. It's her stepping into your personal space, breaking that invisible barrier. It could be a playful nudge in a group conversation, a light brush of her arm against yours when you're walking side by side, or a small bump when she's passing by. But here's the thing, guys. It's all about the aftermath. How does she react after the bump? Does she apologize profusely and back away? Or does she hold your gaze? Maybe even throw in a smile or a light touch on your arm. If it's the latter, then it's not just a clumsy mistake, buddy. She did it on purpose. Act on it. Chapter 7. If she flips her hair while looking at you. Ha! Ah, the infamous hair flip. It's a classic move that women use to capture a man's attention. And when she flips her hair while maintaining eye contact with you, that is a sure way of knowing that she's interested. She wants you. You see, when a woman is attracted to someone, she naturally wants to draw attention to her physical appearance. And what better way to do that than with a strategic hair flip? But here's the catch. Pay attention to the context. Is she flipping her hair casually? Or is it a deliberate, calculated move? Is she doing it repeatedly? As if she wants you to notice. These nuances matter. So when you catch her flipping her hair while locking eye contact with you, it's time to step up your game, friend. Get out there and slay, as the kids say. When you commit to a woman, you're investing your time, your emotions, your energy into her. And you gotta make sure it's worth it, right? This goes for both ways, man to woman, woman to man, man to man, whatever. This ain't about playing around, but knowing that you're with someone who adds value to your life. Someone who is worth committing to. Because once you're in, it's not about you anymore exclusively. You have a responsibility to another person's feelings and their well-being. You do. You have to care. So, you don't want to be jumping ship at the first set of trouble. That's not really fair now, is it? Green flag number one. She hasn't been with too many people. If she's been with a lot of people, it might mean she's not into long-term commitments. That she prefers quick flings over lasting bonds. Or it might mean that she's trying to find something in others that she cannot find in herself. Either way, it could be a warning sign of underlying issues that could affect your relationship long term. Green flag two. She's got a great relationship with her father and parents in general, to be honest. All right, bro, let's move on to green flag number two. She has a great relationship with her father. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell does that have to do with anything? 
Trust me, it's so much more relevant than you might think. You see, for many girls out there, their father is the first man they interact with in their lives. And this interaction shapes a lot of their expectations and perceptions about men. A woman who had a positive, supportive father figure tends to develop a healthier view of men and relationships. It's basic psychology, bud. Now, that isn't to say that all women who don't have good relationships with their fathers are automatically a no-go. Again, it's not so cut and dry. These are guidelines. That's not fair, and it's not true. A healthy father-daughter relationship can indicate a woman who understands men better, knows how to communicate with them, and has a positive view of them. These are all huge boons for a relationship. When she's got a good relationship with her dad, it often shows that she understands the value of men in her life. She respects them. She knows how to love them. It indicates that she's more likely to be patient, understanding, and respectful towards you as a partner, and she'll probably also like farts more. Find yourself one that likes farts. Jokes aside, these qualities can contribute to a peaceful, balanced relationship where both partners feel valued and loved rather than at odds like the boomers are. Oh, the old ball and chain. No, you're supposed to be with somebody you love. Green flag three, she treats everyone with respect. Come on guys, it's a no brainer. You don't really need me to spell it out for you, do you? But in the spirit of keeping things painfully clear, let's, uh, let's dive in. Respect is the foundation of any successful relationship. If she respects you, it's a great start, but it's not enough. Pay attention to how she treats other people, waitstaff, store clerks, friends, family, strangers even, because how she treats them is a actual reveal of her true character and a good indicator of how she treats you in the long run. Because remember, who you meet in the first three, four, five months is not truly who the person is. Many women are good at pretending to be a sweet princess for even up to years. Take Johnny Depp's situation. You know how sweet and caring this little devil of a woman was in the first few years? The man said it himself. But after a while, the woman will finally crack. Sometimes they won't. That's why it's important to pay attention to the small signs. Small details, instead of just shr shrugging them off and thinking, eh, it's a one-time thing, or she's just having a bad day, my special lady. If she treats the little man with disrespect, she will treat you the same way during hard times. And guess why that's a problem? She knows all of your weaknesses, all of your secrets. Be careful of the woman who is sweet as sugar to you, but cold as ice to the waiter, or dismissive of her friends. That sweetness will not last and soon you'll find yourself being the one at the receiving end of that ice-cold attitude. Trust me on this one. Green flag four, she likes self-improvement. Now, this doesn't mean she's obsessed with hitting the gym or living on a diet of kale and protein shakes. What I'm talking about here is a mindset, an attitude, a hunger for growth. It's about recognizing that none of us are perfect and having the courage to continually work on becoming a better person. Here's the thing. Nobody's perfect. You do not need me to tell you that, and if you do, you're even less perfect than the rest of us. We've all got our baggage, our insecurities, our flaws, but it's one thing to acknowledge those imperfections and another to actually do something about them. A woman who's committed to self-improvement is one who will not settle for less, not from you, not from life, and most importantly, not from herself. She may be into fitness, reading, learning new skills, or maybe she's working on being more patient more understanding or more assertive. Whatever it is, she's working on it. She's not sitting around and waiting for things to magically get better. Why is that important though? Because a woman who embraces self-improvement will motivate you to do the same. She won't let you get complacent or settle for mediocrity. She'll push you, challenge you, inspire you to become the best version of yourself. And even if she doesn't actively push you as much as you need, you'll see her doing stuff. And trust me, you'll get up. You'll grow together, pushing each other to new heights. Green flag five, she doesn't disrespect you. Now, I know this kind of ties into the one we had earlier, but this one's crucial, and there's a difference. No matter how charming, attractive, or witty she might be, if she doesn't treat you with respect, no go. Disrespect can come in so many forms. It can be subtle, like constantly interrupting you when you're talking. It could be ignoring your boundaries or criticizing your ambitions. Respect isn't just us avoiding these negative behaviors. It is encouraging positive actions. It is about listening when you speak, acknowledging your feelings and viewpoints, being honest with you, and showing gratitude for the things that you do. 
Men, respects the two-way street. You gotta give it to earn it. But if you're doing your part and she's not, it's time to ask yourself why you're still in that situation. But be honest with yourself. Do not lie to yourself because humans are exceptionally adept at self-deception. Disrespect, even in a playful manner, is a red flag. It might seem harmless at first. A, a joke here, a joke there. But remember, jokes often reveal hidden truths. God, I know this one too well. Seven months, I dated somebody who called me stupid as a joke. Oh, I'm just joking all the time. Well, guess what? If that's what I hear all the time, that's what I think you think. And turns out when we broke up, that is one of the things that she thought. Who would have guessed? If she makes fun of your dreams, your work, your passions, it shows a lack of respect for who you are as an individual. And I want to be clear here. I'm not saying she cannot joke around with you. What I'm saying is that there is a line that should not be crossed. Friends do not break each other down without building each other back up. If she's constantly making you the butt of the joke, it's time to have a serious conversation. If things don't change, well, you know what to do. All right. Enough blabbering. I've dropped plenty of knowledge here, but you don't mean diddly squat if you don't put it into action. So, I want to make you have a pact with me right now. You need to promise to yourself that you will not settle for anything less than you deserve. Set that bar high. Choice is in your hands. Use it wisely.